What's going on, everybody? It's your boy E Double here, aka Eric West, and we are back. Oh, jeez, one second. Eh. <laughs> Had to fix that real quick. Um, we are back with some Pokemon Diamond Randomized Nuzlocke, and we are in one of my favorite cities in the whole Pokemon universe, uh, Hearthome City, here in the Sinnoh region. And uh, I remember this church actually. It's kind of creepy to me how there's no music, but like it makes sense, you know? This church? Pokemon. People. It's only natural that we are all so different. Make sure that you never judge a Pokemon on if it's weak or strong. You must always look for the good inside of them. That's what counts. Damn. There are still words that not everyone can describe. The words are love and joy. Yeah, that one should shivers down my spine. That people are lonely is natural. It gives me compassion for others. It's what makes me look forward to a better tomorrow. But there are still moments of fondness for the past. Though time can heal some sadness. I, I don't think this one... I don't know. I feel like this could have been placed a little better. But it was still it was still very nice monologue. Thank you. What does this little kid have to say since everyone's dropping jewels of wisdom? When people in Pokemon join hands, everyone's happy. It makes everyone come together. It could even make the whole world one. Goddamn kid. Alright, what does the old man have to say? The art of crafting things. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm laughing my ass off. <laughs> I'll tell you after this. Hang on, let's not ruin the moment. The art of crafting things fatigues one's spirit. When the spirit is healed, the desire to make something returns. It is a wondrous cycle. See, he's talking about how people like me who make lots and lots of videos over a long period of time have a fatigued soul and this man is basically saying that's the reason that I'm lagging with my YouTube videos he has my back and he, I was laughing because this is supposed to be a church but what the fuck are they are they praising the mountain <laughs> like I know I know Pokemon wouldn't be allowed to put Jesus or anything but like they're praising a mountain dog <laughs> That's funny though, but I did like that this whole thing was here because, like, this is talking about the events um, with Team Galactic that are to happen. You know, that's that's really dope. And there do I see my father, my son, my life, and there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. So this is what the Pokemon Bible is like, huh? Wild. You know, I always liked this church because I thought that, um, oh, thank God, background music. <laughs> I always liked the church because, like, I thought growing up playing this game that the church is where, I forgot about Poffins. I thought the church was, like, gonna have something to do with Arceus, to be honest with you guys. Like, I used to think that you would have to go and there would be an event in the church at some point in the game and then you'd be able to go battle Ar uh, Arceus but it kind of feels like the church has no true purpose alright now we're gonna fast forward because uh, I was clicking mindlessly and now he's taking me to the freaking contest which I'm gonna save the contest and poffin making for another time I might never mind I have to talk to the gym leader Jesus can I walk straight I'm walking like a drunk Oh, I'm so sorry. Please excuse me. Are you entering a contest? <laughs> Enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fontina, the Hearthome gym leader, also happens to be a contest expert. Now I realize that she's talking about herself in the third person. Did not know that about her. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fontina! You may challenge me, but not yet! You must become much stronger. Well, fuck you, lady! Bougie-ass bitch! Get off my line. 
<gasps> There's the Poke Park here. Alright, so this city serves no true purpose for me because I don't know of any HMs I can get here. Um, I can maybe walk around and see if there's someone who'll give me an item, but what you call it? Oh, I thought you lived in the freaking city with the safari zone. That's wild. You're literally only here so that I can know what your name is. That's kind of sad. I don't want to do a contest right now or poffin making or even Pokemon walking. Those are things I would rather do for a live stream if I ever do another Pokemon live stream. So let's speed through this and see if anybody gives me any items, which they might not. This might just be a town that we have to pass by for right now, uh, unfortunately. We do have two gym badges. I know uh, it's not time for Crash or Wake. That's much later, but he's also like the fourth gym leader. Because I think Fantina, the bougie bitch, is like the fifth gym leader, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I've honestly only ever played Diamond once, even though it's my favorite game, uh, my favorite generation. And actually, I'm thinking about playing Platinum on the channel with you guys, because I've never played Pokemon Platinum. And I heard that the changes are actually kind of cool, especially like the entire portion of the distortion world. I never got to experience any of that, and I would prefer to experience it with you guys live. Um, so that would be really dope. Is this the... yeah. It's two gates to the park. I forgot about that. Okay, well... This place is kind of a bust. I don't... this is Poffin House, right? Oh, this is the fan club. Alright, maybe it'll give me something useful here. Maybe. Aren't you the interview lady who I keep seeing later on? No, thank you. I don't want to unlock useless shit. Hello, hello, how do... Blah, blah. Okay. You're just explaining poffins? Or are you going to give me, like, the case? Yeah, thank you. Alright, so now I can make poffins, which I'm not going to do. Because the only true use for Poffins is for a contest, and like I said, I'm not going to do that. Maybe when the Nuzlocke is over, though, I'll make an episode dedicated to Poffins and the, the contest. But for now, do I have a map? Oh! <gasps> I just realized there's a place where we can get two encounters off the top of my head. Because I believe... Yeah! It should be here. All right. So I'm gonna go south because I don't think it's time for Solacion Town yet. Pastoria City, that's what it was called. This is where we have the Safari Zone, right? In Pastoria, because it's not in Veilstone. Veilstone is the game corner. That's the first lake that we see. And in Sunny Shore, we can't even access for a while. I, okay, so I could do the boring route first. Go up to Salacion where, like, nothing happens. Then go all the way up to Celestic, where even more nothing happens. <laughs> That's how I think of this. Or, what I'm going to do instead for this episode, we're going to go through Route 212, and we'll try and end at Pastoria. Or, we'll try to at least be at Pastoria by next episode. Um... And around here should be the Pokemon Mansion, where I can go get another encounter. So this is going to be sick. Okay, never fucking mind. God, I spent all this time making a plan, and these guys are going to cock block me. Oh, I want a battle. Oh, I'm heated. Your boy is upset. I have upsetment. Torch this bitch! No! Contests are interesting, but the ruins of Salacion Town are. Fuck! Fine! I can take a hint, okay? I'll go to Salacion. I'm riding my bicycle, man. I'm upset. God damn it. All I wanted to do. Is this. Any. Okay, I was gonna say, there's a second mode. I was gonna say, this is no faster than me running. What's the difference? What? What? You're cock blocking too? 
I hear they found eggs in the Jota region. You're kidding, they found an egg in the daycare? Is this not where I go to get to Celacion Town? Yeah! So get out the fucking way! <sighs> Alright, so I have to do something here first. You want a Pokemon egg? Yeah. Please, let me... I don't remember what egg this is supposed to be. Uh, it might be a Happiny egg, actually. But I'm pretty sure the eggs are gonna be randomized, or at least I would hope so. Um, if they're not, though, a Ryolu later is gonna be awesome. Okay. I just realized that I healed for no reason, man. I'm supposed to be dropping off a Pokemon. <laughs> what the hell did I heal for? There we go. Alright. Now that you're dropped off, I can go pick up this egg. And I'll... Do I have to do a contest to make progress? I just realized that. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Alright, give me the egg. Thank you. Professor Elm of Johto. It, it's not a Togepi, is it? <gasps> it would be so dope, though, if it was a Togepi. Like, assuming that the eggs don't get randomized. I honestly have no idea, because I have no control over that, to my knowledge. Doesn't seem close to hatching. Alright, I have no idea how long it's going to take. Because if it's randomized, we don't know what Pokemon it is. If it is randomized, I hope it's a legendary. Because that would be awesome. And we'll know if it's a legendary because it'll take forever to hatch. But with that being said, I don't think we have to go to the park. But I'm going to go to the park anyways because... <gasps> no, you know what? First of all, I'm not going to be let in because none of my Pokemon are cute. I just remembered that. That's that stupid rule that you can only allow cute Pokemon into the park. Oh, my hero! Oh, hi, Eric. My mom got me a bitch? Wait, no, really? Joanna is your mom? So you might be a contest star? Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to him about contests. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Who is she? Should I know her? <laughs> yeah, I got so many females on my phone. I just can't keep up, y'all. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this accessory. Who are you? Put that accessory on your Pokemon before a contest. It'll lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge. Who the fuck is texting me? I'm a contest judge, so come join us for different kind of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Johanna, I'll see you. Alright. All I know is this is where I get my fine-ass suit. I got bored and I came here for a vacation. Just a surprise to see you here. Are you serious about entering contests? Not dressed like that! I hate when moms get like that. Is that what you're going out in? Are you really wearing that outside? Like, fuck off. I love you, but fuck off. <laughs> Anyways, we got our tuxedo now, and nice, thank you for the poffin. Okay, okay, thank you. He backed up. Do I even have an accessories case? Yeah, I do. I have a fashion case. I have no idea when I got it, but I have it. What are these different ones? Practice. Okay. Awesome. Wait a minute. Alright, that's super. Are you normal then? Linked super contest. So, for my friends. Got you. What I just realized, and I hope this is not the case... Are we going to have to win a ribbon in order to progress? Because... Oh my god. Let me check my trainer badge. Who's up next? Oh. 
I forgot all about you. But... Aren't you... The Valor City Gym Leader? What the... Okay, I gotta check my map. I have got to check my map. Who is where, dog? Because Pastoria is Crasher Wake. Why did I say Valor? Veilstone. I'm thinking of Pokemon Go. Go. Because you're the Steel Gym Leader, who's like the sixth one. You're the Electric Gym Leader, who's number eight. You're the Snow Gym Leader. The Ice, I mean. Excuse my ignorance. So you have to be... What does she do? Fighting type? And then you're Crash or Awake. But if I can't get to Celestion, how do I get to this one? Dog. Don't tell me I have to compete in the contest first. Alright, well let's go through- OH! I just realized! Guys, I'm good! I have a Mudkip! A Mudkip would count as a cute Pokemon for sure. And I technically have the Jolteon, too. Yeah, and I got Smeargle, man. Smeargle's adorable. Oh, this is my death box. Man, rest in peace. I didn't even know I had a Sir Skip, but rest in peace, man. Alright, what does your move do? Oh, you have four moves. That's right. You don't have Sketch. I was going to look up what Sketch does for a contest. Oh, okay. So, we would potentially be able to do a cute contest, but there's also Magnemite, Slowpoke, Jolteon, and Kimbo. Because I don't know how well I would do with these. Alright. I guess today is going to be the contest episode, guys. You have two cool moves. You have... Ah, uh, too cool, too beauty. I want somebody with at least three of one type, you know? Oh, <gasps> Jolteon could do cool. Nice. Alright. Oh my god, you're all over the place. You have cute and tough. You have two cool. I thought that was three. Okay, Golem could do tough. Ah, beauty and cute. Alright. You know, I would actually... I would actually go for it with a Mudkip for the cute contest. Man. Okay. I wonder... There's no rule against using a dead Pokemon for contests, right? <laughs> oh, never mind. He's ass. Okay. So I could use Mudkip, Golem, or Jolteon. Um, am I able... What's in my party that I could potentially use? No, bitch. Come on. Get out. What's in my party that I could potentially use? Okay, Staravia. Maybe Houndor. Yeah, maybe Houndor. Oh, Reptar. It's Sharkisha. Wild. Okay. Do I have any TMs that can I can teach Kimbo? Because ideally, I feel like I could definitely win with Kimbo. I don't have no way of checking it, huh? Okay, that sucks. Um... Damn. I can't believe today's gonna be a contest episode. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, we'll drop off Houndor. And you know what? We'll take Golem with us. And the Jolteon. Like, we might as well, you know? There we go. All set. Since we're not going to be battling today, it doesn't really matter. Alright, now to go through my TMs and see... You don't sound cute. Captivate w would be either be cute or beauty, right? Alright. What are you, though? Beauty! Okay, so Captivate is beauty. Uh, would Flash be cute at all? That sounds like I made a dirty joke. <laughs> um, Flash would be beauty. 
Okay. I, I don't know how I knew that, but I did. Would grass not be beauty? Or would it be the green one? Smart, yeah, okay. Uh, would pluck be cute? How can you learn pluck? This randomizer is why- Yeah, pluck is cute! Okay, okay. Okay. I don't mind- Mmm, what should I go for though? Ah! See- Oh! Okay, I thought- <laughs> I thought I fucked it up! <laughs> See, cause I also gotta think about like- I would wanna use Kimbo as a water type, you know? So I gotta think about moves I would wanna keep, and for sure, I never wanna delete Aqua Tail. If all the other moves leave, then so be it. But I wouldn't want to get rid of Aqua Tail. So, but conversion to earn a higher score the later the Pokemon performs. Oh, but that's the same thing more or less as conversion too. Oh, that's if I get the lowest score, that's different. Uh, okay. Okay, so I can teach it, what was it, Pluck? And then Captivate and Flash are my other options. That's not very good, actually. That's Those aren't good moves. Okay. I can get rid of what? With... Withdraw? No, I would need Withdraw for my... Cute, huh? Shit, this is tough! Prevent the Vultures from going up in the same turn. And then... Okay, you do the same thing, but for beauty. But if I wanted to do cute, I only have one cute that I can go for. So this is what I'll do. First, I'm gonna go for the cute contest with Kimbo. Alright? And if that don't work, then I'm gonna go ahead and go for the whatcha call it? Um the beauty contest with Kimbo as well. So I guess I'm gonna. Uh I guess I'll get rid of conversion too. Nah, that's good. I'll get rid of whirlpool. Whatever. Cause move set wise, it's not gonna matter too much, since I'm gonna level him up and everything anyways. And pretty soon we'll have access to the what you call it. Oh, I got it. Let's go on a walk. Yeah. Let's take Kimbo out for a walk, man. Can I change my Poké check? Kimbo has an ugly sprite on this thing. There we go. I guess that's better. <laughs> Somehow. Alright. Judge me. In Amity Square, you may go for the stroll with the cute Pokemon. Pikachu, Clefairy, Psyduck, Pachirisu, Happiny, Baneary, and Trifloon. Fuck you! Mudkip is cute as shit! You jerk! Alright, so I can literally never go to the park if it's a randomizer. I'm just gonna have to go straight for the contest and hope for the best, guys. <laughs> if only I knew where I could buy some more accessories, you know? Let's do a normal rank cute contest. With Kimbo. It would be wild if I could just send my egg out there. Yo, as a child, it bothered me that I could only ever be contestant number four. Look at me, dog! I am suave! 007! Hose on my dick! What is- Oh my gosh! Man, this is bringing back so many memories. We are about to get underway with this normal rank Pokemon Q contest. I'm Dexter, and I'll be serving as the MC and as one of the judges! The results of judging will be announced at the end, so please bear with me! Let me introduce our contestants! Entry number one, here's Lacey! Ooh. Next, it's entry number two. Gabriel! You're too old for this shit. Entry number three is Aaron! Give me your number later. And then last but not least, entry number four, Eric! And no one applauds! Nah, I'm just... I'm taking this way <laughs> too far. <laughs> I used to think no one would applaud because they're like, who the fuck is Eric? <laughs> Let 
let's begin by having everyone get in proper attire for evaluations. Contestants, dress up your Pokemon for the visual competition. Oh shit, I'll be right back. I need to go get my mouse. All right, so I went to go get a mouse, and then I realized like, oh man, I haven't had breakfast. So I got coconut gelato and a Powerade. <laughs> and yes, I'm eating ice cream for breakfast. All right, don't judge me. You have 60 seconds to dress up your Pokemon. Okay. The natural. I mean, I don't even know what I have. Maybe they'll think a feather is cute. I mean, bitches like feathers, right? I could do one. Oh, uh, let's do the silver one in the middle. Oh man, I love contests. Three. What if, since this is the natural, what if I just went out there like this? Hmm. No, I don't think I want to have him out there with the fucking whole ass tree. Maybe some puffs on his cheek. But I want the mustache too. Alright. How does he look with puffs on his cheek? Okay, not too bad. Okay. Nah, he kind of looks stupid. Uh. Fuck it, maybe they'll think it's cute. It's a cute contest. Uh, adjust this and... Done! Oh. I could have changed the background? I didn't know. Alright, thanks for your patience! Let the visual contest begin! Entry number one is Lacey! Lacey entered the contest with whiskers! Ew! Yeah, exactly! Entry number two is Gabriel! Gabriel enters our contest with Precious! Oh shit, this is about to be fantastic. Uh... Okay, okay! They're getting bad reviews. Aaron! Aaron is the contest with the Wheezy! Young, young Mola, baby. Okay, only three hearts still? Am I gonna get it? Am I gonna win? Hope's ride with Kimbo! <laughs> Four hearts. That's one more than y'all, bitches! It was the puffs. It was definitely the puffs, man. Ah. Alright, can the backup dancers flawlessly follow the main dancers' steps? Okay, everybody, let's dance! Start the music! I forgot all about this shit. Yo, that's so rhythmic. Hell yeah, boy! Oh shit! Your boy got moves! Uh. Alright, so the way they perform, the where they put the notes matters for their own score. Like the main dancers getting goods and stuff. Ah. Uh. Does it, I think it matters what kind of beat they put the notes on. Alright, your boys got this. So, it's your boy E Double, and I'm your freestyle dance instructor. Y'all are ass. How do you move left when I jump? This is the worst dance crew I have ever seen. Alright, alright, alright. The acting competition. Show off the moves that exemplify cuteness. Four performances each. Let's see some enthusiasm. Okay. So, you get voltage from one ahead. I have no idea what that means, but let's just start off strong. Let's hit that bitch, Kira. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, that's basic. Alright, good. Well, not so good. I would prefer if they hit the same person. Because, ideally, right? Perfect scenario. All four people hit the same person. And then you end up going, like, first. But that's gonna take time, you know? To get that voltage max. And I do have withdraw. So that's how I can utilize that. <laughs> mm. So it's a move where they were banking on getting a unique performance. Ah, oh, shit, but they still went last, though. Strongly impressed? Oh, fuck no! Alright, Kira. Kira, come on. Hit me with the three. Hit me with the plus three, Kira. Yeah, boy! You're not leaving me in the dust. Okay. How do you decide between these guys, though? What are you? Right. Highest scoring goes last. Okay. Hmm. Let's try this, then. I'm gonna still stick with Kira. Okay. I don't see how it's cute. You're kind of throwing mud everywhere. Come on, come on, give it a show. Mm. So I hope that Wheezy hits one of the guys. <laughs> you dumbass. Nice. So now they're not going to get a bonus. And I'm going to get that plus three for sure. Alone time with Kira. Okay. I have no idea what my moves effect was supposed to be, though. Plus two. Ah, you're gonna get that plus three. Shit. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go second now. Let's try this now. Alright, I didn't do so well in this turn. So let's try withdraw now. Um everyone's going for Jordan still. I'm gonna go for Jordan this time. And try and stop his voltage from going up. See, I didn't expect them to go for Kira. But it was a 50-50 either way. So I have to hope that I go second. Because if I go second, and someone else hits Kira... Like... Alright, one of two things, right? I go second, and the first person hits Kira. Or... Someone hits Kira this turn, and I go first. Mm, okay, that's not gonna happen now. Okay, yeah. Nice. So I'm gonna go like third. So I'm like third this time, right? And this is... I'm second! Alright. I hope... I would hope that this works on Kira. Get voltage from one at... What does that mean? Damn. I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna look that up.
Ah, okay. So it steals the voltage of whoever goes in front. So I would have to just go for Aqua Tail because even if this person goes for Kira and I steal that voltage, I'm not helping myself. So we're gonna hope, hope, hope that they go for Kira. And I'm gonna hit this this Aqua Tail. Or should I? Ah, it's the last performance. It's too late to use that strategy. I have to do this. Hit Kira. Hit Kira. Fuck! Someone else is gonna hit Kira now, and they're gonna get the five stars. Ah, oh, man. I didn't weigh my downsides. Man. Uh, maybe I should have just gone for pluck. Damn. Alright, well, let's run through this then, because someone's already going to get that. Yeah. Please tell me that the voltage doesn't go up, though. It does. Whiskers is going to win. Great. Fuck you, Lacey. I hate this. I hate this whole thing. Fucking whiskers. Alright, well... Let's hope I did well enough in the other two that I still win. First, the results of the visual competition! I won that one. Yeah, buddy! That one heart mattered. The results of the dance competition! Oh, please. Please tell me I did enough. And finally, here are the results of the acting competition. Uh, did I? Oh, yes! Kimbo! Yes! <laughs> oh, it was so close. Suck it, Whiskers. Oh my god, yes. Yes! I won the contest! Congratulations! Let's recognize our winner, Eric Skimbo! Our winner is awarded the cute ribbon! Oh, hell yeah. We look forward to your next contest challenge! I can't believe I did it. Oh, hell yeah. Congratulations, here's your prize. A pink barrette. Nice. Thank you for participating. We look forward to your next visit. My stomach feels kind of uneasy, because I guess gelato doesn't go well with Gatorade. But, it is what it is, man. Kimbo, you did the damn thing, man. I'm gonna I'm give you some levels soon. Soon. Eventually. Oh yeah, let's drop off these other guys. All right, didn't need you, and I did not need you. And now let's uh, take back the squad and go see what's up. All right, let's roll out. Ah, oh, hell yeah. That was kind of fun though. Kind of. Not fun enough. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm gonna have to do though in order to like, quote unquote, get stronger. Because she's not... You being here tells me you're going to challenge the gym leader. I hate to break it to you, but that's impossible. She's not here. Yeah. I have to get two more badges. Can I please make my way to Celacion now? Please, por favor. Perhaps. Didn't I? Yeah, I'm sure I already... <gasps> that's what I needed! Ta-da! Can't be waiting again, Eric. Let's see how much tougher you and your pipe. Right here now! <laughs> Hey, you're a trainer, right? You're expected to be ready for a battle. No whining! No waiting! Let's get the show started! <laughs> Alright. Anyways. Surskit is first. Easy. I mean, he's kind of rubbing it in our face a bit, but... Yeah, whatever. I got, I got something for him. And that's something. It's called a sky attack. 
he won't even see it coming. Damn, signal beam is actually kind of solid. I missed! Megahorn! Do you have a hair across? Fuck this. Fuck that. Fuck that. Get up out. Alright, Cricket Tune is up next. That's probably what has the Mega Horn. Uh, I do want Houndor to get experience. And he apparently has bug types today. Gentleman Brian. Brian! Wait, no, I named him Brian. Okay, I thought his name got randomized to Brian. Oh, this is gonna be neutral. I'm not worried anymore. Fire Blast, and you dead. But neutral damage. Megahorn is still kind of concerning, so I gotta be careful. Alright, Houndor has his one level, and a Seedra's coming out. It's not all bugs. Um, to match the Seedra, I have a dark type move, right? Yeah, I have Crunch. It's been a while since I've played. I'm very, very sorry, guys. Oh, come on. Alright, so let's crunch this bitch. Num num. Bite that snout. And he still gets the water sport, but that's okay. Better than a water spout. Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna crunch. And there you go. Okay, poison point, of course. But that's alright, because this is generation 4. Sharkisha gets the nice level. This is going amazing. Dust Tox. Does Dust Tox have the Mega Horn? Kinda don't wanna find out. No, it super effective on you because steel doesn't resist bug bug fucks up my team without staravia being able to handle it all right let's go for a sucker punch and then uh, uh and then uh, i don't fucking know after that because i don't want to get mega horn but i intimidate him all right sucker punch damn it it failed what are you using tail glow that doesn't raise physical though uh, let's try it again. Nope. Do I risk the sky attack this time? Please tail glow again. And now you Mega Horn. Okay. I'm not afraid of Mega Horn anymore. And my sky attack landed. I win. It actually did a lot less than I was expecting it to. Which I mean. Like, I know, Dustox isn't the best physical Pokemon, but still, you know, it's a Mega Horn. You just expect it to do Buku damage. Staravia wants to learn Bounce. Another two turn move? Fuck no! Like, it's bad enough that Sky Attack is a two turn move, you know? But at least that one's significantly stronger than Bounce. Wah! You can't my team again! This messes up my dream of becoming the greatest trader ever! No! I just need to get tougher and keep winning! One day! That's it! I'm gonna challenge the some Gym next! See you around, Eric! You'll be blown away by how much tougher I'll be the next time we meet! I mean, I guess so. Oh, right, right, right. Gotta heal up. Actually, whoa, that <laughs> that lag. Uh, I think I'm gonna end things right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to stick around for future videos on the Homeboy channel as well as the individual channels in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Later, people. Turn your appearance to a disappearance. I fuck with nothing but gangsters, nothing but hustler niggas. Sound off, sound off.